Revelet. What's this? Medals of Peace, awarded to you and Vautrin. Thank you for your continued dedication in the past five years. You've taken one small step forward in helping Melusines gain the trust of humans. I think I'll pass. Hey, don't say that! We wouldn't have made it this far without you! It won't be long before Melusines begin living peacefully with the humans! Just the thought of it makes me happy. Don't keep your hopes up. We've barely scratched the surface. There's still a long way to go before that dream of yours comes true. Ugh, you blockhead! Don't ruin the mood! Hmm. Botran brings up a good point. The trust humans have placed in you is still very fragile. Any small incident could undermine the hard work you've put in. Please be on your guard for the next few days. Yes, sir. Okay, got it! Medal of Peace? <laughs> peace isn't going to give us back what's rightfully ours. Are you sure we should do this? We're no match for Nervalette, even with all our powers combined. What if... Nah, not gonna happen. As long as he remains in his position, there's no chance he'd take us out personally. There are rules even he must comply with in the political sphere. Unless he wants to become an enemy of Fontaine. So quit worrying and just go ahead with it. I've already planned out the murder. Once we lay the blame on the Melusines as the person who brought them to the court of Fontaine, Nervy Lett will be left with no excuse. I guess you're right. Ugh. If he just left things the way they were, it never would have come to this. But he's forced our hand. Time to teach him a lesson. Turn the murderer in! Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalette, too! Peaceful coexistence? What a joke! Get out of the court of Fontaine and don't ever come back! The results of the investigation are in, Captain Voltron. Go on. There is no direct evidence, but reasonable inference indicates that the ones controlling the situation are supporters of the old regime, whose interests have been undermined by the reform. They tricked Miss Carroll into going to the crime scene and pressed charges against her. After that, they incited panic among the people in order to make Monsieur Nervillette confess to his mistakes and yield up power. The guards were stopped by the enraged mob and couldn't intervene in time. Miss Carol chose to sacrifice herself to pacify the situation. And she called me a blockhead. A little investigation would have cleared things up. Why didn't she wait until we'd established the truth? She didn't have to prove her innocence like that. The situation had rapidly escalated to a physical altercation between infuriated citizens and the guards. Miss Carol might have thought there was no better plan. That is indeed something she'd do. Captain Voltra, should I present these results to Monsieur Nervillette right away? There's no need. Notify the guards to restrict public access to all information. Restrict access to... Wait, are you planning to... There's something I've never told, Carol. I had a little sister named Delaria who passed away when I was very young. She's just like Carol in every possible way. Innocent, kind, always believing the best of people. People like her are the most vulnerable to deception and betrayal. From the moment I met Carol, I knew that she'd be easily manipulated by others. I kept a cold demeanor and tried lecturing her into giving up. 
Looks like she was unfazed by that. Yes. In fact, some of her spirit must have rubbed off on me instead. Because I too began working towards that pie-in-the-sky dream of hers. I should have known. Those cowards don't have the guts to confront New Villette. They even avoided causing trouble for me. They were after Carol all along. Can you understand how I feel? Right now, there's only one thought on my mind. Only through bloodshed can their debt be repaid. I understand, but I'm certain Monsieur Nervalette wouldn't accept that as a solution. That's exactly why we need to keep this a secret. Give me the list of suspects. What happens after this has nothing to do with any of you. I will take responsibility for everything. Did you know? They're hearing a major case today, and the criminal is Captain Vautrin of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Apparently, he resorted to personal measures to seek revenge for Carol, and settled the score with the group that framed his friend. <sighs> hey, why aren't you saying anything? I'm thinking... We should try our best to bail him out when the trial commences. Bail him out? Why? Shh, keep it down! Haven't you realized? Both Votran and Carol are Nervilet's most trusted subordinates. After everything that happened to Carol, Nervilet's guaranteed to do everything he can to keep Votran around. Besides, now that the old regime has been uprooted, Nervilet's status is secure as can be. As long as we redirect public opinion, Nervilet will be able to give Votran a reprieve. The benefits are endless. Votran sought vengeance for his friend for a valid cause. This represents the justice he upholds! Please, think about it. If the same thing had happened to you, wouldn't you feel the same way he did? Yeah, that's right! This whole thing started because of those despicable cowards who levied false accusations against Carol. How could Vautran be declared guilty for seeking revenge? Monsieur Nouvellet. Mr. Vautrin is innocent! He's, He's innocent. innocent! Order! I acknowledge your arguments. Vautrin, your revenge could be seen as a form of justice. I understand your decision. Which is why I cannot help but feel regret and even grief about the judgment I must now impose. Personal justice does not equate to justice as defined by the law. To execute your plan for revenge, you abused your authority and conducted informal executions. Your actions have thus violated the law. Therefore, you will be declared guilty. What? That can't be! Monsieur Nervillette, please give this a little more thought. He has done so much for Fontaine! Votran, my friend, is there anything else you want to say? Nivillette, what have I done to deserve this? I've closely followed every one of your orders. Can't you see? Everyone in this room believes that I'm innocent. Why can't you just let me off? Is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nuvillette! Order. Since there have been no further objections, the Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vautran. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Vautran will be declared guilty. Goodbye, Monsieur Nouvellette. This all happened because of Carol's naive ideas. How can different species peacefully coexist anyway? Hey, stop freaking out! What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? 
Apologies, it seems like my memories got the better of me. I tried my best to suppress the power of Hydro within myself, but it seems like it still caused the emotions within the Fountain of Lucene to boil over. Due to my negligence, the overflow of emotions and memories must have affected you as well. Are you all right? Wow. The Hydro Dragon is more powerful than Paimon thought. Anyways, the last time we came here, the Traveler only heard voices from the Fountain of Lucene. No emotions boiling over or anything. It is as you said. This might be because I am different. It is not only the Fountain. I can sense emotions from all waters in Fontaine. Rivers, lakes, and even the rain. That sounds awesome! But I rarely ever do anything like this. Emotions carried by water are always chaotic and disconnected. As an outsider, having my mind occupied with irrelevant memories isn't exactly a pleasant experience. Which ones? <laughs> it's fine. I prefer not to speak of those memories. That does not mean I am deliberately hiding them. It was a coincidence, but perhaps it is a good thing that you saw everything in that form. You should now understand why I believe there to be a conspiracy behind all this. These two cases are much too similar. I felt like I needed to do something. Uh, Paimon's starting to lose track of what you're saying. Don't leave Paimon out of the conversation! Paimon wants to help too! Then let us get back to the point. While I was investigating the fountain, I discovered something strange. I did not sense too much hatred towards me within its accumulated emotions. However, I did find some resentment directed towards Kiara. If I remember correctly, it seemed to be related to a smuggling case. I don't know what caused this to happen, but it seems like there won't be a shortcut to finding the organization that may be pulling the strings here. Oh! Didn't we read about that in one of the documents? You've read about it? In that case, the resentment should have come from that incident. Huh? What are you doing here? I was just about to look for you at the Palais Mermonia. Navia! Nice to see you again! Is there something we can help with? I've heard some things. But I'm not purposely asking around or anything. Don't worry. Rumors are abroad that someone's scheming against Melusines, and that you're investigating the case. So I told the Spina di Rosula to keep an eye out for leads. We've had unfamiliar faces showing themselves at the Fleur Sandra lately. Maybe you'll find the suspects among them. Thank you. Where did you hear about all this? The Chief Justice out on investigation, accompanied by the Traveler from afar. No matter how you conceal your whereabouts, there will be countless eyes watching you. You talked to Kiara, but didn't ask her to keep things secret. People curious to know asked around for information, then it was only a matter of time before word of the threatening letter spread all across Fontaine. So that's what Charlotte meant. Indeed. I did not expect that this could be kept hidden for too long, but the rumors still spread faster than I imagined. Hmm. You know, it could be because... you attract more attention than you think. Anyway, any progress with the investigation? The suspects who threatened Kiara might have to do with a certain smuggling case, but it is still uncertain if there is in fact another party behind all this. We are planning to return to the Palais Mormonia to revisit some details and identify the senders of that threatening letter. All right, then I'll round up the Spina di Rosula and follow up on their progress. Wait for my word. Ta-ta! Uh, Nevelet, do you think there'll be any problems now that the word is out? I have already considered that possibility, and I do not think that there will be any. As a matter of fact, once the word gets out, no one would dare to harm Kiara in broad daylight. What is more important is how the case is perceived by the public. Four hundred years ago, they chose to side with the old regime and direct their resentment towards the Melusines. I hope the same won't happen again. Let us head back to the Palais.
strange. What are these people doing out on the street so late at night? Did something happen? Let's take a look around. Have you heard? Someone's plotting against Amelazine. This is 100% the truth. Even the Chief Justice is investigating in person. What? That's it! Who's been threatening Melazines? Show yourself! Our enemies are lurking in the shadows and won't easily reveal themselves. But no amount of hiding will keep us from finding them. That's exactly what I wanted to say. The guards have already begun to take action. We can't just stand by and watch. Think about how much we owe them. Now that they're in danger, how can we just sit back and do nothing? Everyone, please stay alert to your surroundings from now on. If you see any suspicious persons, report them to the guards immediately. It feels like you've been following me this whole time. Did something happen? We were informed that. <clears throat> nope. We just finished our shifts and happened to be strolling by. Have you had dinner yet? Why don't we check out the new items at the dessert shop together? This isn't a good time to be out and about. Come on, don't act tough. I bet you're hungry too. <sighs> All right, let's go buy a cake or something. You shouldn't ever skip meals. Especially if you have another shift scheduled for later. I heard even Nervulet's keeping an eye on the situation. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to get promoted. We gotta make sure we give it all we've got. Seriously? Were you planning to shirk your duties if Nervulet wasn't involved? Relax, I was just playing. We've worked together for years now. If something happened to them, I'd be haunted by regret for the rest of my life. That's more like it. We should stand guard until the criminal has been caught. Come and fight me instead, you cowards! Have you heard? Even the special patrol came to help. Shh, look! Is it that Nervulet? I think he's looking at us. Uh, looks like there's nothing to worry about! Hmm. <sighs> This is tr So... wanna go over and say hi? No, I should stay where I am. My appearance could give rise to unnecessary commotion. Let us stick to our plan and return to the Palais Mormonia. The faster we uncover the truth, the better. The smuggling case was solved by the joint forces of the guards and the Marechaussee Phantom. This is the one. The list of involved suspects should be... Ah, found it. What does it say? The principal offenders Domenico, Inica, Yuna, and others have been caught. They have been sent to the fortress of Meropede following trial. Those with close connections or mutual interests with the offenders, but who did not participate in the case, will not stand trial. Among them, surveillance of Essain has ceased on account of his good behavior. All other personnel remain on our watch list. So many names. Is the one who sent that threatening letter to Kiara on the list? Yes, there is something suspicious about Essain, to be precise. It seems like he's closely related to the core members of the smuggling case, and he moves around without much restriction. Monsieur Nervelet, someone claiming to be from the Spina du Rasula just checked in with us. He said, and I quote, <clears throat> We have located the suspect, they're chatting at the cafe. Huh? How did Navia find them so quickly? We've only just figured out the suspect's name! I too am perplexed. The cafe isn't too far from here. We should head over and take a look. <laughs> 